Hi guys, it's been a while. Today I'm going to show you um, just a quick video about how to have a makeup for going to work. I'm preparing myself go to for work. So I just want to show you my makeup that I usually do if I want to go for work. And today I'm going to use uh, products from Kiko Cosmetics. So if you don't know this brand, it's an Italian brand. So you can check it out. Maybe you are interested in some of the products. I already um, moisturized and primed my face, so I'm going to use the Kiko Matte Foundation. It's an all-day matte cream foundation. Just going to put it here and just build it all over my face. Just using a sponge. Quick. If I'm in hurry, I just like to <laughs> use sponge for putting up my foundation. And make sure you will blend it nicely. This foundation have a nice uh, medium coverage, but it doesn't feel as well heavy on your face. It's matte, and so it's good if you have an oily and the combination skin like me. Because it will last One thing which is very important for makeup to work, you just have to choose foundation that can last, you know, almost all day because you will stay up on work for a long time. And the powder, I'm just use my favorite powder from Maybelline, the Maybelline matte powder, just to mattify all the shine on my face. I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm using the primer that we made. We made it last time in one of my eye primer tutorial. If you watch my previous video, I show how to make your own eye primer and it's just to primer I'm using right now. It has a nice matte finish. And I as well used the Kiko foundation that I just put on my face to make this primer. And for the eyes, I'm going to use, oh yeah, before, I forgot, I just want to put the lip balm, this is the Kiko lip balm. I want to put in my lips. So I will set and get it nicely on my lips while I'm doing my makeup. So for the eyes, I'm going to use my long lasting stick eyeshadow. This is Kiko long lasting stick eyeshadow. It's in black color. This is the best way to have my quick makeup. I just want to put it like a thick liner on top of my lid like that. Love and blend it with the brush. I 
just put a little in, in the outer corner. Really love this makeup. This I hope I have them even enough. Okay, and I'm just going to line my lower lash inside the waterline. I'm using the Kiko fiber black eye liner pencil. It's really good if you really can use a lot of product which is long lasting. So it really can stay over day on your face. So this is it. And I'm just going to curl my where is it? My lashes. I very seldom to put a lot of eyeshadow if I go to work if it's not natural colors I will just put a very thick looking liners like this I'm just like to my shadows and I'm going to use the Kiko mascara and this is the volume Attraction Mascara and it's waterproof and you can just take a few tips to clean up or the mess under the eyes. Now I'm going to put the eyebrows. I will define the brows and I'm using the Kiko this one passion the eyebrow pencil I love this one it has the brush here as well so and this is in a dark brown color I'm going to define my brows using this Just make sure you won't use any dark color for your brows. You just want to get uh, any pencils or brow powders, which is one or two shades lighter than your hair color. I will hope I can do it nicely this morning. So that's about it. And just brush it. And for my cheek, 
I will put the Kiko Bronzer Powder, this one, just to contour my cheek a little bit. And with the angle brush. I love this color a lot, and this is um, 103. It's a nice matte bronzer powder. If you have a Kiko in your city, you can go and check it out. It's really nice, natural kind of bronzer. It'll give your skin a nice warm look and I'm just going to put as well a little bit on my nose and using my small angle brush this one just to contour my nose with the same bronzer Then I will put this uh, blush, and this is the soft touch pink blush, and it's a nice dark pink color. With my blush brush, just going to put on top of my cheek one. To give a nice more in shade a little bit on my chin center of my forehead and the last thing I'm going to put my lipstick and I will use the Kiko pencil lip gloss so it's a like lipstick gloss in this color it's like um, a nude pink color. Uh, I want to define a little bit of my lips. I'm using the Matita Labra. It's a nice matte nude pink lip pencil. You see? So it has it's a nice neutral color and you just put this lipstick gloss all over my lips. I really like this because it's not dry out your lips. It's a lipstick pencil, but it as well has. It's very creamy, so it really moisturizes your lips nicely. And this is it, guys. My go to work uh, makeup that I usually do is just very quick, very simple. You can add more. Um, you know concealer if you like but I just think this is has a nice coverage foundation and I just like to skip the concealer sometimes when I'm using this so I hope you like it and I will show you later um, what dress I'm wearing for today's work and talk to you guys more in my next video I hope you enjoyed this tutorial bye